Hello and welcome back to Physical Science Online Edition. Today we're taking a, a look at our Waves Stations Lab. Uh, I'll be running through some of the ones that you can't do at home, although most of these you can probably do at home if you get a little creative. Uh, even what I mean by that is Station 1 here says to go around the school looking for places that echo and don't echo, you can do the same thing at your house. Use your house, go around and do it, and just write down the places that you uh, run into at home. Station two, kind of the same thing. I would normally be using the remote for my projector in the classroom. You'd be playing around with it and seeing where you can get it to work from and not. Use your TV remote. Use a remote for uh, your, your game system. Use your own remote and see what you can discover about that. For station two, Station three, uh, I hope you can do this one at home. If you can't, you can skip this one, of course, but I'm hoping you have a little bit of oil. Uh, any kind of oil will work. And a ruler, uh, just fill up two, two things, with one with oil and one with water. And then you can stick a coin at the bottom and see how they look different and measure the same. So that, that's how you can do station three. If you truly don't have oil at home, can't spare a, a cup of oil, you can skip station three. Station four, though, I think I need to do here for you. Um, I, you maybe can do it at home if you have the right materials, but more or less, uh, this one does require two beakers of oil and water. And then you try to slide some smaller beakers into them and see what happens. I'm hoping that this one works uh, with the camera as well as it does in class. So real quick, if you put the smaller beaker inside of the beaker with water, you can see it pretty easily. It's right there. You can see it real, real clearly. But if you put a small beaker into a beaker of oil, for all intensive purposes, it appears to have disappeared. I know you can see the numbers themselves, but it's much harder to see the, the beaker, the actual beaker itself. I know you can see the numbering, but the beaker itself kind of appears to have disappeared. Um, I can see on the camera that, that worked okay, although not as good as it does in real life. It kind of looks like that beaker just completely disappeared from sight. Uh, write some reflections about that and maybe look up the term index of refraction. Um, making longitudinal waves with a slinky. I did the demo of that. So station five, I did the demo in a previous video, or you can go and find slinky demos on YouTube. So that's how you can accomplish station five. Uh, station six might just be a you thinking one. Uh, so in class, we're actually use the slinkies and move around for station six at home. Just kind of think about it. Do your best. Fill in um, how you think that the waves would interfere with each other constructively. Uh, station seven, there's a link. I'll put the link in with the lab so you can do that one for sure. Uh, station eight. I'm going to do a demo of how, what you could do at home. So this one does work. If you get any sort of flat bowl, you can stick a penny at the bottom of it. And then uh, what you're trying to do is to get real close down here in eye level. Oh, sorry. So that you just barely can't see the penny. So I moved until I was looking, and then I just barely can't see the penny anymore. Then if you have yourself or a friend pour some water into that bowl and keep filling it up, but don't move your head, eventually you're going to see the penny. Right now I can see the penny, even though I haven't moved at all. That's once again refraction happening. And then answer the reflection questions about that one. Um, you can tell it's a longer lab, but it is a lot of fun. Uh, number nine, who wins the race, sound or light, you can look that one up, uh, especially maybe with a track gun, uh, the starting gun for track races is a cool example, or in class we'd use the boom whackers. Um, and lastly, station 10, visualizing a sound wave, I'll do this one, that'll be my last demo, we're almost out of time even. So you take a big thing of water and a tuning fork. And you can see it actually move the water. So that those vibrations from the tuning fork actually create splashes. There you go. There's the lab. Do the reflection questions and have fun. Thanks for watching.